डॉक्टर संजय मुखर्जी आई मेट्रोपॉलिटन कमिश्नर एम एम मिस्टर पॉल रॉली एग्जीक्यूटिव वाइस प्रेसिडेंट डायमंड ट्रेडिंग डी पी ग्रुप मिस्टर जी आर राधाकृष्णन मैनेजिंग डिरेक्टर जी आर टी ज्वेलर्स इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड मिस्टर किरीट बंसाली द वाइस चेयरमैन मिस्टर नीरव बंसाली कन्वेनर नेशनल एक्सिबिशन मिस्टर सबिय साचिरे एग्जीक्यूटिव डिरेक्टर कलीग्स फ्रॉम द सी ओ एस्टीम डेलीगेशन एग्जीबिटर्स एंड विजिटर्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे मार्क्स अ मोमेंटस ओकेजन एज वी इनाग्रेट द थर्टी नाइन्थ एडिशन ऑफ आई आई जी एस प्रीमियर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विद ग्रेट एक्साइटमेंट एंड एंटिसिपेशन वी एम्बार्क ऑन अ न्यू चैप्टर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस इवेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द शो कॉन्करेंटली एट टू प्रेस्टिजियस वेन्यूज इन मुंबई द जियो वर्ल्ड कन्वेंशन सेंटर फ्रॉम थर्ड टू सेवेंथ ऑगस्ट and the bombay exhibition center from 4 to 8 august and we are privileged to have the presence of our guest of honor mr mike hanky dr sanjay mukherjee who is one of the finest and dynamic leaders in the maharashtra cabinet and he has been instrumental in digital transformation in the state and mr paul rawley from dbs on this occasion we cannot help but marvel at this remarkable journey of the iigs from his humble big palace mumbai the show has steadily evolved over the years to be the second largest show worldwide overall there are 3250 stalls and 1850 exhibitors at the geo convention we are excited to welcome more than 2000 visitors from 65 plus countries notably the distinguished guest list comprises delegations from 16 nations adding a significant international dimension to the event as every year iigs premier 2023 is poised to be a memorable event featuring a plethora of highlights that will leave an indelible mark on everyone present in addition to offering you the world class venue the geo world convention center get ready for an unforgettable experience from the iigs celebration night at this very venue in the evening today to the jewelers for hope charity dinner on the 4th august 2023 at grand haya and captivating the innovative eight talks hosted in both geo and nesco we have created a remarkable journey for all participants since the start of this year beginning with iigs signature gjpc embarked on a journey towards environmental sustainability with the launch of our transformative initiative one earth today i am pleased to share the astounding success of the one earth initiative made possible by the incredible support from all of you together we have not only surpassed our target of plant venturing into new markets as part of this initiative gjpc conducted visits to study the potential for further penetration in existing markets and explore opportunities in new markets such as vietnam cambodia thailand panama bangladesh and sri lanka gjpc is hosting the india show alongside the hong kong show in september <laughs> I shall now request Sri Nirav Bansali. Mr. Mike Hanky, Dr. Sanjay Mukherjee, Mr. Paul Rowley, and Sri G. R. Radhakrishnan, along with our GJPC dignitaries of the days, 
to kindly release the Solitaire International IRGS. Congratulations on the launch of the special edition of Solitaire International commemorating IIJ's premiere 2023. Thank you to our dignitaries. And wish all the best for a successful launch of IIJS Premier. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your kind sentiments. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Gaborone in Botswana, where he is based, comes one of the industry's luminaries to lend sparkle to IIJS Premier 2023. <coughs> Mr. Paul Rowley, Executive Vice President Diamond Trading at De Beers, joined the company in 1983 and swiftly climbed the corporate ladder of success shifting base from London to Kimberley and then back to London. In 2017, he was appointed Executive Director at the DTC. In this capacity, he was a member of the DTC Executive Team in London and served on the boards of DTC Botswana and Namibia. In 2020, and then, prior to his current role, was Executive Vice President Global Site Order Sales. Ladies and gentlemen, to share his thoughts with us, please warmly welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Paul Rowley, Executive Vice President, Diamond Trading. Guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me wish you a very, uh, very warm and good morning. I guess it's a warm welcome to uh, to India, to uh, to a little bit more uh, warmth than I'm used to at the moment in Havaroni, bizarrely enough. So uh, we're enjoying the heat. It's great to be back here at the IIJS in such an inspirational venue as Mumbai with all its energy here in India. Fantastic energy, entrepreneurship, excitement. As the world changes so fast these days, all these qualities, I think, are of great benefit to this wonderful nation. Because with a lot of change comes a lot of opportunity. And India is already one of the world's great diamond nations with leadership in the midstream, recently amplified on a global level as international news outlets reported on how Surat Diamond Boss has overtaken the Pentagon as the, uh, in the US as the world's largest office building. Quite an achievement. But also in the downstream, where domestic consumer market is playing an increasingly central role in the global context. At De Beers, we see India as a hugely exciting source of opportunity. India was already one of the world's um, top markets, but it has also been the fastest growing major market this year. And I think to some extent it must be, I suspect, vying for number two uh, behind the States uh, as we've seen a little bit more challenging times in China. And it's got excellent prospects, I think, for further growth, both in the short and long term. The outlook as we head towards Diwali and the wedding season is positive, with many retailers expecting further growth in sales is certainly what we're hearing. And with the nation's economic development, we'll see the number of middle class households grow. In fact, we expect the number of middle class householders to grow to somewhere in the region of 30 million in the next decade alone. Something like uh, almost 15 times the population of Botswana, where, where I call home today. So it gives you some sense of how important India is. It's clear that the landscape in India will be a perfect platform for growth and the, key of it, and the key to the achievement of that potential will be how the outstanding businesses here build on the insights into how the sector will ultimately evolve. Because it's not just India that's changing, but the whole world, and changing at a much faster pace. Two of the most important trends we see at De Beers are around provenance and lab-grown diamonds. First with provenance, we're seeing a very fast growth in interest about where diamonds come from and more importantly perhaps the impact they have on the people and places on their journey to the consumer. This brings some new challenges indeed but more importantly I think it brings huge opportunities. Such information enables us to to create a stronger relationship between each unique natural diamond and
if you're not holding cameras, please put your hands together and give each one a rousing round of applause because they deserve more than that. PC as chairman in 1971 and contributor to the establishment of the Gemological Institute of India, GII. Ladies and gentlemen, Shri Kittilal K. Doshi. K. Doshi. He formulated the jewelry policy and secured a 95% during his tenure. Shreyas K. Doshi. Played a key role in the removal of the Gold Control Act ensured the smooth flow of rough diamonds during the 1991 currency crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, Kaushik Mehta. ...industry to global recognition. He oversaw the transformation of the India International Jewelry Show into a prestigious international platform, showcasing the industry's brilliance to a global audience. Another significant achievement was the successful launch of the India and Jewelry Exports. Through strategic initiatives and collaborations, he aimed to strengthen India's position in the international market, fostering growth and recognition for the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bakul Mehta. Chairman from 2000. Cluster mapping report hosted KP intercession and KP plenary addressing credit and finance challenges. Mr. Pramod Agrawal. The number of the guarantee in Surat. He exempted gold and exports from mandatory hallmark and partnered with the world. Gold. Very rarely does an initiative have the power to lift an industry, unleash boundless growth, and shape the future. Presenting the India Jewelry Park Mumbai, an initiative of GJEPC. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on the launch of the logo of India Jewelry Park. Mumbai. Thank you to all our victories. Kindly do take your seats. The organizers for inviting me in today's function and giving me this opportunity to interact with you and also get to learn a lot about the diamond industry and the diamond business. Respected dignitaries on the dais, Mr. Bukul Shah, Mr. Mike Henley, Mr. Paul Crowley, Kirit Bansari Saab, Satyash Hachi Ji, Mr. Radha Krishnan Ji, Mr. Bansari Ji, Karediya ji, those visionaries in MMRDA, the then chief ministers who thought of the diamond, Bharat Diamond Boards way back, I think it was inaugurated in 2010, spread over more than 20 acres of land. Kiran Banshali, Sabhisachi Ray, our other council members, everyone who's invited me here to speak, as well as to be able to share the stage with the MMRDA. Sanjay ji, it's in Gems and Jewelry. I appreciate Bharat Diamond Board's President Anup Shah and all of his colleagues who have been part of that education process. India exports about $20 billion a year in Gems and Jewelry into the United States, making it the biggest market for India. And we treasure that. That's not only on the industrial side, but on the people-to-people -people side. We're meeting here today just more than a month after. I firmly believe that in the coming months, we're going to see a further deepening of those bonds. Our President Biden is now due to visit India in a reciprocal visit just one month from now when he comes to New Delhi. And I believe that this is further evidence of the U.S. We made agreements last month on everything from the seas to the stars. And the gem and jewelry industry, as part of our dynamic commercial relationship, is the backbone of that. Growth in our trade by... May I uh, call upon chairman to just recognize these leaders? First of all, I would like to call upon stage Sandeep Sharma. He has played an instrumental role as the CFO of GJEPC 
making significant financial selling exports from the Gujarat region, contributing significantly to the overall success of the gems and jewelry industry. Next in line is Shubra Sharma, making it a carriage platform for the gems and jewelry industry. Next is Akash. Last but not the least, Raksha Maniha for getting work done on time for each and every individual in GJAPC. For exceptional efficiency. People, they represent the heart, the soul, the blood, sweat, toil and tears over 50 years of the German Jewelry Export Promotion Council. And so with that competition has come uh, a slight reduction of price in the USA as a, as a tightening of uh, available share of water. And, uh, and with reference to quality prices, they're going out of the bills, it's been significantly down. Uh, and that's all around uh, aligning to demand at the consumer level. So as we go into this next phase, we do see the industry coming into some equilibrium. And of course, we're really hopeful that China, which has been historically the second largest market, as I said earlier, I think India is starting to really approach on that position and doing well. But we'd like to see China really starting to, uh, to open up more from a confidence in the consumer perspective. And I think that will come possibly into the new year as we start to see the economy recover. That's how Thank you. Very short follow-up. What an optimistic Thank you, sir. Anybody else who asks a question? Uh, Supply coming in both to India. But also, of course, the Petro Station in South Africa, which is all part of the Bears now. So I don't think Rafa Storch is going to show you that. And the uh, ASV, uh, it may also strike the world's honor. Uh, there are some concerns, and uh, we need to see the ECHM as well. So both, yeah. And second is the impact of the deal on Surat. Uh, because one of the uh, requirements that the Indian government has placed is that uh, you need to have a processing unit set up. We've uh, we signed a uh, agreement with Surat to make the deal on Surat. Uh, that's going to be a huge and I'm pleased that the, the most important output of that, from my perspective, well, there are numbers, but uh, one is that is the extension, or in fact, the new lease agreement with Deswana, a 50 50 joint venture between De Beers and the government of Botswana, for 25 years commencing, uh, interest enough, for the 1st of August 2029. That is longevity, we have beneficiation uh, within some like in certain categories of goods. I said earlier as well around traceability, and in fact, uh, there are 39 factories that we are supporting in Botswana through. Uh, and uh, a large, <laughs> so very much Surat is the is heartbeat of the, uh, the manufacturing industry. And we see that continue, but uh, working in harmony with, uh, with businesses in South Africa. Not just Botswana, actually, also have beneficiaries in South Africa and Namibia, as well as uh, up in Canada, also, where we have our minds. We work with communities, which is uh, ensuring we're telling those very good stories. Uh, Yes, uh, to answer to your first question, that this is the first time that Council has done roadshow and uh, a lot of new countries which we have been uh, uh, entering into the like markets like Vietnam, Cambodia and uh, yeah, other Middle East area where this show is so much important for them. We, we, we believe from the Council that these are the countries which are consistently buying diamonds and with the uh, jewelry products, but normally they are buying from Hong Kong or Bangkok and our job was then to bring them directly to India where the it is source where they could come here and they can see by themselves what India is capable and what India can produce. So we wanted them to be direct, bring down the cost for the for our manufacturers itself. Uh, to answer to your second question, we see a good Diwali season coming up. Indian domestic market is looking fantastic. It's pretty good as far as Indian domestic market is concerned. If you see comparatively the world U.S. slowdown, Chinese market slowdown, it is the domestic market which is very, very strong, which is yet supporting our underlying business overall. And to answer to your third question, as far as student diamond boost coming up, we all are excited. It's a, uh, it's a huge project. And uh, again, it will be again uh, complementing uh, the Bombay as well as Surat. It will be like a one-stop, uh, one-stop where all the uh, uh, small people 
the having factories is so that they will be coming under one roof. People who are having offices uh, and their businesses both in Bombay and Surat. So yes, uh, the trade will come up, will shape up its own way and it will create its own unique position in the German joint industry as such. So yes, we are excited about it and both uh, bourses are going to be there and both are going to complement each other. Thank you. US government and uh, you know that the Jinnah jewelry used to have zero percent jewelry in all kinds of jeans and jewelry and one by one they withdrew because the that has crossed the threshold basically in US, the import threshold. Now Indian government because GST and as a scheme was withdrawn totally. Now recently with our Prime Minister Jibit, we were just told that they are reopening the discussion on reintroducing the entire GST scheme and what we have told the government that why don't you uh, put into that, but the bouquet of products. So our products is also put into the scheme. This much I can tell you. Of course, Mr. as you have heard, Mr. Biden is also coming. Our commerce department is also talking with them. Let us hope for the best. The decision should be good. Uh, as, we, as we are approaching August, September, it seems that uh, we will have a little bit of better period compared to the earlier period. And let us see how the season, for the Christmas season, the Diwali year, and as rightly said, China needs to open. So, uh, expectations are really good. Let us see how it unfolds. And the luxury items and the uh, branded items are still selling more. There is no issue on that. Comparing lab grown and uh, natural lab, people who are buying natural lab will continue to buy natural lab. People are, are facing a little bit of problem. But I believe that in the next few months or uh, six months or one year, everything will settle down. And regarding the question which about the bulls, if US is having two bulls, why not India is a large country, country. two bourses will be accommodated easily and those who want to do business there, they will shift there, those who want to do business here, they will do here and at both places some of the... There are shows happening in Surat, we are also having IIGS even in Surat. So council is making sure that every region we are doing some kind of the activity as such. We are also hosting buyer sellers meet, we are kept it in Surat as well. So, very all of all the important centers where our GMs and business is happening, every center is being looked after and we are making sure that business is taking place everywhere.